lot of plastic waste can come from our bathrooms, but it doesn't have to. We make little to no trash, so the only waste that you should find in here is the waste that comes from your rear end. These are a few swaps that we've made to significantly reduce our waste from the bathroom. So let's plunge right in. The first swap for a plastic-free or less waste bathroom uh, involves toilet paper. Most toilet paper that you'd find at the store can be wrapped in plastic, which is not sustainable. Our toilet paper that we get is wrapped in paper and it comes in a cardboard box. The brand is um, Who Gives a Crap, but there are other brands. You want to look for toilet paper that isn't packaged in plastic. Just be aware of it. It's, um, it's a good alternative and it's a fairly easy swap to make. The next swap is deodorant. Deodorant traditionally comes in like plastic, you know, your old spices, all that stuff. But we get deodorant package free and plastic free from our refill store. Um, again, shout outs to Eco Inspired, but this, you can refill a small jar um, of deodorant. And this is a great way to reduce your waste when it comes to smelling good. There are deodorants that come in more sustainable packaging like cardboard, I think, um, I think there's a brand called Native that is, is, is accessible to everyone in most like common grocery stores. So just keep an eye out and um, try and get that deodorant waste free. This swap involves soap. Soap comes in plastic pumps or uh, a bottle, but if you swap to bar soap, this can come um, packaged very sustainably. Usually it's wrapped in like a cardboard sleeve and it doesn't come in a very wasteful plastic bottle or pump. Try it out, quick swap, really easy to do. And there's a ton of brands that you can kind of find your uh, preference. To go even further, try and buy your bar soap from a local maker, maybe at your farmer's market or a market that is uh, in your town or city. Everyone's gotta wash their hair, at least everyone should. Using shampoo that comes in a bottle isn't really sustainable. Good swap to reduce that waste is to swap to something like a shampoo bar and a conditioner bar. These are great ways to uh, combat that kind of plastic waste. And you can also get shampoo um, zero waste and in bulk at the refill shop. You can fill your own bottle as well. As an added bonus, they also sell pet shampoo, if you give your, your pets baths, in bar form. So if you have pets like us, you can still be sustainable with them when they need a bath. Drop that plastic poof that you have hanging in the shower and replace it with a natural loofah or a soap saver bag, which we've shown before. Um, those are usually made from something like hemp, but making a swap to these is much better because this is compostable, it's totally natural, and it's not made of plastic, so you're not rubbing a piece of plastic all over your body. Next swap, lotion. Lotion comes in pumps, it comes in bottles, very wasteful. So a good swap to make is to solid lotion bars. This is a great swap to make to reduce your plastic waste in your bathroom, and it's a good way to stay moisturized. Don't forget to moisturize your face at night. Our next one is a certified classic bamboo toothbrush. Every plastic toothbrush that you've used still exists today. It's still sitting in the landfill. So to kind of combat that, swap to the old bamboo toothbrush. This is, uh, it's compostable, it's way more sustainable, and they are more accessible nowadays, so you can find them almost anywhere. So make the switch today, bamboo toothbrush. You got this. The next swap goes with toothbrushes. You can't brush your teeth without toothpaste. The super zero waste version of toothpaste is in tooth tabs. The zero waste store that we shop at sells tooth toothpaste tablets in bulk. So you can get your toothpaste tablets in bulk at the Zero Waste store. And if, you, if you're not used to this, these are kind of hard to get used to. You can still get toothpaste packaged in aluminum. Now you have to recycle this afterwards, but this David's brand toothpaste works really great. Um, I'm very used to this and uh, it's pretty easy to um, recycle and reduce your waste. So don't forget about the toothpaste. Brush your teeth, kids. After brushing, you got a floss. So we swapped from floss that's made of plastic and also packaged in plastic to floss that is in a glass bottle. And this is a refill of floss that you can just buy by itself and put in your glass bottle. 
make sure you look for maybe compostable floss. I know some are made of from corn and some are have charcoal in them as well. So make sure you're looking for that com compostable floss and um, make sure you're doing it. Don't forget. To top off the oral hygiene um, section of these plastic swabs, the next swap involves mouthwash. And usually mouthwash can come in plastic with a plastic cap on top, but plastic free, waste free mouthwash can come in glass. And these are mouthwash tablets, much like the toothpaste tablets, and they sell refills of mouthwash tablets as well. And you just fill up a, a cup and um, dissolve one of these as you're brushing, and then you, you, you swish and gargle right after. Some people use a plastic disposable cup to, you know, uh, to put the mouthwash in, but you can just use a cute little shot glass and keep that in the bathroom more zero waste, just kind of another level. Ditch that old plastic razor, those Gillette razors with the wasteful head replacements, those old Bic single-use razors with a buy it for life razor that you can change the blades with. Now, this can be used pretty much for the rest of your life and it gets rid of the plastic waste that can come from this quite big razor industry. To take it a step further, also um, try and find a shave soap that's in bar form instead of buying maybe the can of shaving cream or the um, like plastic packaged shaving soaps. Give it a shot. You gotta clean your bathroom, right? Or at least I hope you clean your bathroom, but traditional cleaners can come in a ton of plastic, plastic bottles, plastic sprayers, all types. And there's sometimes those chemicals are harmful to the environment. So we made the swap to this cleaner, which is an all-purpose cleaner, and it's a tablet that you dissolve in water, and this is a like a reusable bottle, so we don't throw this away, We've, we just use this all the time. You can also use a cleaner or a natural cleaner like vinegar and baking soda. Those work wonders in um, the bathroom or any really dirty surface, but you have to be careful on what surfaces you use vinegar on. Most like porous and natural surfaces can't really um, take it. You also have to clean your toilet and these are in the same vein as the cleaner tablets. These are toilet bowl cleaner tablets. You just throw this in the toilet, let it kind of fizzle up, and then you use your um, toilet brush to kind of scrub around. So very zero waste, super easy to use, doesn't come in plastic, and less chemicals. Maybe you wear makeup and you might use cotton balls or cotton rounds to remove your makeup, but those cotton balls and rounds can come packaged in plastic, which is not good. You can make the swap to reusable facial rounds. These are just kind of, um, these are sewn up, these are cool. These are reusable and they're, um, you can just wash them. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. You can actually sew them yourself. You can make them, but you can also buy them at, um, I think we got these at the Zero Waste store. And I don't really wear makeup, but I have used these in the past to like clean my piercings. Um, so give these a shot. These are a great alternative to the regular cotton rounds or cotton um, balls. Cotton swabs can come packaged in plastic and they're also made of plastic. The stick part is made of plastic. And some cotton swabs, the adhesive that they use to glue the cotton to the swab is not sustainable. So we swap to something that is 100% cotton, which is compostable, and it's even packaged in cardboard when we buy it. We just put it in here to, to kind of look nice and it's accessible. Um, but make a swap to something way more sustainable, like a um, compostable cotton swab. If you, if you can't find those compostable swabs or if it's just really not your thing, we tried the, this is called the last swab, and I think it's made of recycled plastic and silicone. This is okay. We use it once in a while, but um, it's just not our favorite, but it is a great alternative. Please use this video as a kind of comprehensive guide to a plastic-free or, or less wasteful bathroom. If you're just starting on your plastic-free journey, we hope that this helps. This is supposed to be kind of a like one stop for uh, your bathroom. 
we've talked about some of these swaps before, but we wanted to put them all together into one to kind of make it cohesive. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to have a better impact. Deuces.